As I said it before, Dr. Itula was the face of the movement for change. It's not yesterday that the people of Namibia has been aggrieved by the continual denial of their rights in the utilization of their resources. The adrenaline in the Namibian of, uh, people is continuing to flow, and I've got the belief that, even if I'm no longer here, that that movement, that phenomenon, that Dr. Itula phenomenon for change will continue until such time that the balance of power is in favor of the people of Namibia. What then after this? And that's what I said this morning. The people of Namibia has to be able to decide to say, from here, where to them, not me. This was not about Dr. Itula. This was about the masses of the people who live in indignified environments of our informal settlements. This is about the masses of our students that has got no schools, no chairs to sit on, no books. This was about ensuring that what we fought for is truly being realized by the people of Namibia 30 years thereafter. Of the manner in which the Namibian people express themselves in accordance with Article 17 of the Namibian Constitution to participate in the political activities peacefully in order to influence the composition and policies of government. That participation, we argued, was not transparent in the absence of a paper trail. We must recall that Section 97, Subsection 3, the last 12 words says that and any vote cast is verified by a count of a paper trail. Subsection 4 states that where there is a dispute between the electronic outcome the seen by the screen and the paper trail, the paper trail becomes the result of that specific polling station. At the moment, the outcome of the elections were not verified by a paper trail. The court acknowledged that and the respondents also acknowledge that. What is significant for the Namibian people is that they, whereas I was the face of that march for change and implementation of just processes in the process of seeking their leaders, that march has not been stopped by the judgment of the court until such time the consequences of today's government has been remedied. The corruption in the government has to be taken out. Our students and our children need to go to schools. Our hospitals need to have enough medicine for our doctors to care our people. Our workers, the fisheries, etc., needs to ensure that they've got jobs to feed their families. Our land has to be returned to the people of Namibia. We cannot continue to sell our land. Our wealth and our resources belongs to the people of Namibia. Until those factors have been considered, by our leaders, will remain poor, will remain subjugated to the will of the leaders. It's very relieving, and I must tell the Namibian people this, very relieving that this Supreme Court has decided that the use of EVM without a paper trail, and therefore hearing the cry of the Namibian people, is not lawful. And from the 21st of March 2020, there shall no longer be the use of EVMs in Namibia without a paper trail. That is the victory of the people of Namibia. That is the victory that remedies the people of Namibia in honoring the heroes and heroines that sacrifice for us to be able to exercise our democratic right to freely and fairly and through a transparent process seek our leaders. Now, okay. My political activities will go to the ends of my life. It's not an one and off. It has always been there. It will continue. It will continue to the extent that the people of Namibia wants me to ensure that that, sorry, sorry. what we fought for, will continue to be implemented. And until such time that we hold this government to account, this government will keep on going and carrying out the corrupt systems of the fish rot and the others that we have mentioned before, unabated. It's up to the Namibian people to determine exactly what is it that they want their leaders to do. Today, this court has given the Namibian people another leaf to ensure that they hold the leaders accountable. I started off teaching them the Constitution. That is the weapon, our weakest 
is the ignorance of our rules. And that weapon of that very fundamental principle of justice is the only weapon the Namibian people has now. And that is what I will emphasize you use. Read your constitution and ensure your local authority, your regional authority, your minister, and your president act within the realms of this constitution and the laws that emanates from it. I shall not go away. So it's not the end of you? It's not the end of me. It's not the end of the thought process. Thank, Thank you. you.